Hi dear students, welcome back to your English Academy YouTube channel. Okay, so many students are commenting that sir bring that the key answers and exercise answers of the poem the grass is really like me. Okay, for that I brought this video class. Okay, just uh, you will go through this your whatever that your preparation of answers or examination okay let's we will move that the poem is the grass is really like me written by kishwar nahid okay before beginning of this key answers of this poem just i need your subscription because your subscription is our motivation to bring the more classes the betterment of your study and your growth okay Let's we will see that already I explained this uh, the grass is also like me it is the poem here okay once again if you want you can see that after that the poem there is a what we have we have that the glossary words glossary words are unfurl means open out or spread out wetness means dampness or moisture Manifest means reveal. Lawn mower means a machine used for cutting the grass on a lawn. Endeavor means make an effort. Grafted, fast tense of graft, joined together, united. Merely means just uh, only, simply. Straw means dried stalks of grain used as fodder, as for thatching, fracking, etc. Okay, next about the poet is here. Who is the poet? Kishwar Nahid. She was born in 1940. UP. UP means Uttar Pradesh. Next, uh, more about her. She is one of the best known women poets of Pakistan. She has also written for children and uh, for the daily newspaper Jang. Her poetry has been translated into English and Spanish. Her well-known poem, We Sinful Women, or famous poem of the Pandra, Papa Madhita Kanta Mahilir, was translated by Ruksana Ahmad. Ruksana Ahmad Auru, Spanish Matu English ke translated Madhita Ahmadu. Basically, it is published in London by Women's Press in 1991. Okay. Let's move to that the answer the following questions. Okay, if it is speed, just you can pause and write down the notes, prepare your study. Okay, pause Madi Barkodri. Okay, the first question is what the what does the poet mean by the phrase rise its heads? It means but metaphorically it means to survive and establish one's identify again. The meaning of the rise its head. Next, second one. Explain the phrase. Which phrase? Unfurl underfoot to fulfill itself. It means the grass opens out even if it is under the foot of someone to do justice, see Barbuk justice to its existence. Likewise, women seek meaning in their lives even when they Tramped upon by men. Okay, this is the answer of second one. Let's we will move to that third one. Which one is that third question? Refer to lines four and five. Are they contrasting? Which one do you think is the poet referring to? For this question, we have the answer. What is that answer? Lines four and five refer to the wetness of the grass and of two possibilities for it. One is a sense of shame and other is the heat of emotion. The poet definitely means the latter. Next question number four. What is that question number four? Let's we will see now. Okay. The question number four is the poet is associating herself with the grass. Why when she says me? Is she referring to just herself or the entire woman folk? The answer is just as a grass is trampled upon by the all forces by a woman, 
is also trampled patriarchal forces in society however when the speaker says mercy doesn't mean individual life she means the entire women folk who are more or less in the same position of subjugation is the answer of fourth one next fifth question do you think the lawn mowers are the same in the case of the grass and the poet no the lawn mowers in the case of grass are workers who are doing their duty but the lawn mowers in the case of the poet uh chavin chavinistic people who don't believe in the concept of equality of a woman okay this is the fifth one next we will move to that the sixth one which one is sixth one what is the sixth question pick out the lines from which the poet shifts the attention from the grass to women who is the you in line 11 11 line alli you andre yaro anta kelidara just we will see that it is in the line 11 that the poet moves from the impersonal to the personal from the lawn mower she moves on to men who dominate over women you refers to all those who victimized women okay this is the answer of sixth one next move to that seventh one what does the praise scorching defeat refer to what does the poet mean by the words grafted onto the earth the praise scorching defeat refers to the various forms of tortures a woman faces in her life those who do not have the strength to overcome the violence and injustice e barbekli are grafted onto the earth it means they don't have ability to raise their heads in the society next uh, eighth one what is the poet trying to tell us in lines 18 and 19 lines 18 and 19 refer to those women who succumb to the power that works against them they get grafted to the earth and allow the more powerful to have their victory they are like the weak and feeble some women raise their heads and fight against injustice they are like the grass which unfurls and fulfills this is the answer of eighth question dear students fulfills itself even it is being trampled upon by men e gandasarinda avaru enaktarpa bahalashtu shoshane gaaktara annode this is the intention of this poem next the question number 9 what is that question number 9 let's we will see now okay the question 9 uh, is but neither the earth nor women's desire to manifest life dies explain the meaning of the above lines e mele kotirtakkanta lines the meaning kelidara okay let's we will continue that the line meaning of the those lines by equating the desire of the earth and the women the poet has make it very clear that it natural for the women to have the desire to manifest herself just as earth reveals itself its glory a woman wants to establish her selfhood or autonomy those who got against this impulse in a woman are going against the natural order in nature okay, this is the answer of ninth one next c2 and write the following suitable figure of speech the grass is also like me it is a simile simile yakaktapa andra it is used the like for that reason it is simile as soon as it can rise it said first the lawn mower obsess with flattening into velvet moves it down again here talking about that uh, uh, grass that's why we can call that in according to literature we can't consider grass grass is a living being non living things are treated as living things that is called the personification for that second one is personification next third one but they are merely straw not grass it is the metaphor comparison made between two things fear is the tax that consents to fate to guilt it is also personification work is food for noble minds it is also metaphor man needs god as he needs water and oxygen it is also simile 
Next, appreciation. Read the poem silently and choose the words from the box that describe the mood of the poet. Give reasons for your answer. What is that resentful? Though the poet does not directly express her bitterness, it is clear that she dis approves of the treat uh, treatment out of women in society. So we can say that that is she is resentful, which means indeed angry. Next, reflective, pensive, wistful. All these words mean that the poet is thoughtful. T. Berkeley. The poet is certainly contemplative of the fate of women in society. Next, dejected. Though the poet has the courage to foot off a fight against the forces that push women down, the present scenario makes her feel dejected, which means gloomy and depressed. Next, fourth one is repulsive. Tough repulsive is a strong word. We can choose it as. as a reflective of the poet mood because repulsive means revolting we can see that the poet shows the seeds of revolt when she says that women who make away for men by being grafted to ground are meat like straw stronger women like her like the grass which has the activity to come up in life if you want that take the screenshots also for this answers if it is not possible to write and just you can pause it pause it look at the following phrases with associate create a creation ideas match them with the idea given below unfurl try to be itself fulfill itself scorching sense of same embraced heat of emotions insult scorching defeat shameful defeat make way for mighty outshine next answer the following questions The first one is the poet says the grass is also like me how does she bring out this relationship in second stanza in second stanza the poet shows that just as the grass is repeatedly moved down whenever it tries it tries it said a woman's freedom and autonom autonomy are cubed everyone and them how every just as the grass keeps trying to restore her dignity Next second one explain the ironical ideas used by the poet in the last stanza how do you analyze them iron is used at different levels in the last stanza the poet accepts the fact there are a whole of lot of women who are unable to withstand insult and succumb to simple defeat these are the ones who make way the might he But the poet uses the word "mighty" ironically because the one shows their power of the others' sake, sake, not ones who deserve a feat of mighty. Okay. Next third one. The poet uses some as usual words and praises to evoke emotion in the reader's mind. As for instance, scorching sense of same. Here, na kisi M mark kora. such a poetic device in ka is called imaginary fic code such in poem the first one is unfurl underfoot heat of emotion flattering intolerant scorching defeat grafted on earth to make way for their mighty okay these are the answers which we have that the related the poem of the grass is really like me okay i hope it is useful to you then uh if it is useful to you then we need your, your subscription then your subscription is our motivation for that you can have the subscription of this your youtube channel then if there is a, your friend is there you can share with them and also if you liked our video classes you can give that comment then whatever the your doubts you have that you can comment in the comment section okay then finally i will say that thanks for watching okay bye i will come with that one more video class the betterment of your study okay thanks for watching